crazy nut. Look at you, you look ridiculous. <clears throat> In the Ba-ba-da-ba-da-ba story. <laughs> oh, I'm glad they said danger, or I might have thought it was just a normal death ray. There's a dangerous death ray situation on outbound 94. You might want to take an alternate route. Which one of these guys is Marcello Mastriani? I can't believe you spent the whole party talking to that guy. Driver, will you tell him I'm not talking to him? Ah, the handsome one of the group. <laughs> Italy's Tor Johnson. Are you ready? Ding! I think Hal David wrote the lyrics. <laughs> Let's go swing it into the night. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. What do they mean by ba -ba -da -ba -da -da? Is it protest? It was originally titled La 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 La. Big creative dispute. Here it comes again. Michael Caine and Andre the Giant had a child. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Make a face. Design your own face. I should like to be in a barbershop quartet. Now, these are like European regular guys, but European regular guys are still a lot cooler than American regular guys. These men are ready for action. Women adore them. Men respect them. <laughs> what? What? We're looking at me. I'm not looking. Yes. Ah, they're at the end of the ba ba da 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 tour. That was ba ba da ba da ba da da by the Doodle Town Pipers. Ba ba da ba da da. What? You giving me a ticket? Tough. Okay, everything's in order. Let them through. What country is this taking place in? Europe. I like to watch people park. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, it's up to Burpigo. The mini dish hasn't made his life any better. Okay. <laughs> Biff, Moff, hi. All this equipment just to catch reruns of Madam's Place. Huh. It's like something my dad would buy at a garage sale. <laughs> Merv's guests are Zsa Zsa Gabor, The Death Ray, and Tony Fields. Well, yeah, the reason I gave your paper a D is because you didn't. Professor Carmichael, sir, the commissioners are all present. The NATO commission's all present. Let's begin, then. Have Dr. Carver bring them in, please. ba ba da ba da, -da. This is your life, Jean-Paul Belmondo. I have a World Perks Club. Good evening, gentlemen. Really quite European in here. Mm -hmm. Professor Carmichael is waiting for you. We didn't get our drinks leave? yet. Those of you with small children will please board Professor Carmichael first. Ladies and gentlemen, your pasty white Europeans. Buckaroo Banzai goes to the nursing home. They really have captured the grandeur of white guys walking in herds. Mm. Hey. After you, Swifty. Scene could really use a bop a da ba da da Barry Diller. It is. Oh, no, not one of my packs. Not here in the elevator. No. <laughs> Aren't you glad you used dial? Don't you wish Europeans did? No. Uh, perhaps someone should press a floor button. Biff, Moff, let me flip one of these switches here. You're watching Brian television. Oh, Brian, all the time. In an underground bunker, the major league owner's plot strategy. Why can't I get the Red Shoe Diaries? Sit down, please, gentlemen. Good evening. Good Thank evening. you for coming. Yes, all of you can be hand models. They need to loosen up their family reunion. 
All right, now, uh, who here is bald? Show of hands, please. Gentlemen, I should like to remind you, first of all, that the demonstration you're about to witness is top secret. The reason for this will soon be obvious. It's in my I pants. I don't need to warn you that you're responsible to your respective governments for security in this matter. Uh, isn't this the real estate seminar? I've dedicated the whole of my life to the study of radiation and... Crocheting. ...its use for medicine. But I find that the moral concepts that governed all my work in the past no longer apply today. You're not funny! Unfortunately, my work on radiation is as dangerous as the discovery of atomic energy was. Isn't that radiation too? It may too? either contribute to the well-being of man or bring about his destruction. Come on, death ray something! As a scientist, naturally I couldn't ignore my personal responsibility in this Ribbit. terrible Ribbit. choice. Ribbit. And so I felt that from an ethical point of view, it was my duty to use this knowledge not only for the treatment of disease, but to develop a powerful weapon that might serve as a deterrent for the preservation of world peace. Ribbit. <laughs> is I anyone succeeded. listening? Which is the reason why you've been invited here tonight. Please pay careful attention to everything you're going to see. Sure, it's phallic. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> the power of disintegration of this ray is a lot greater than a laser beam. So I haven't just invented that again. Gentlemen, it is my earnest wish that this instrument, which we have finally developed here, may never have to be used for anything but a purely peaceful purpose. <laughs> Choice is not mine. It's my wife's. Open the doors. So it's a peace-loving death ray. That used to be my job. This is the death fuse box. Oh, and our doors moo when you open them. I restate again, <clears throat> it's for peaceful purposes. That is a block of the special steel alloy used in spacecraft and is, as a consequence, exceptionally resistant to very high pressure stress and extra atmospheric temperatures. Pencil drop at 915. I ought to explain to you that the ray I'm going to use in this experiment is only one hundredth of the maximum power that can be obtained. Get it on! But to create a more potent ray, it's not necessary to build a bigger apparatus. Come for greater on. intensity, it's enough to turn this control. Can the balloon juice and kill something! So this is Martinizing. Uh, uh, again, peaceful purposes. I've seen better death rays. Now, you might expect to pay up to $3 million for a death ray like this. But wait. Still thought there'd be donuts. Ribbit. <laughs> hey, my car's parked behind that wall. <laughs> Danger bifocals. So, if you ever need to burn holes and stuff, this is your baby. I don't like that, but I'll take a dozen of those little switches. Cool. An amazing accomplishment. It truly is. Congratulations. Do on behalf of the ugly European society, we applaud you. He's sexy without his glasses. Numptious. Oh, no, it's FDS. <laughs> <laughs> well, this frosts my strawberries. Oh, my gallstone. Oh. Oh, Butterfingers, I'm sorry. Huh? Quick! It's the emergency alarm. Over to the <laughs> laboratory. <laughs> really queer emergency alarm. <laughs> helping. Well, this is our first emergency. We're not very good. Peck and pause. Wild parking attendants. You please turn off the alarm? It's just making us all tense. So the numbers for the babysitter, the police, and the Maronis next door. Police headquarters? Mm -hmm. Emergency. We can't get the alarm off. The laboratory is under attack. Okay. Oh, he had a little too much death ray. What are the goofy ghoulies are after him? Is that too many bullets back there? Is that okay? Enjoy my teeth. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid you won't pass your driver's test this time. Get out of the car. Get going. It was fun. I think I'm finally coming out of my depression. <laughs> the death ray's just rattling around the trunk. Hope they wrapped a blanket around it. Yeah. There's a darkness at the edge of Europe. 
Ah, right. Leave just enough room for them to get through. <laughs> <laughs> there, we made him swerve slightly. Whoa, Sully's gonna blow groceries. Stop at Walgreens, will you? Thank you very much. Pass if you're gonna. Jeez, fellas, if we only had a death ray, we could... Hey! This is so lucky, we needed a helicopter! <laughs> it's Tom Wolf. Imagine the horrible kinds of peace the bad guys would wage with that death ray. Hmm. I'm not that drunk, let me go, I can fly. <laughs> the chauffeur is not going to get his tip now. Wow, chauffeurs are doing it for themselves. Get this toy out of here quick. <laughs> hello, hello, headquarters. They're escaping in a helicopter. And it's cool. So stupid. <laughs> this is my favorite part of my job. Spot on my back, I can't reach it. Oh, wow. ribbit. <laughs> Honest to goodness, real, not toy helicopter. Anybody bring the death ray? Attention, headquarters. Their direction is southwest. The chopper is painted white and red and has a blue tail. That's Over funny. and out. Attention, all airport patrols. Watch out for a single blade helicopter heading southwest. They have a kidnapped scientist with them on board. Oh, we're in heaven. Tiny Ball Man is doing all right for himself. They're coming up for more baking soda. <laughs> ah, the ocean's beautiful in this part of the tub. <laughs> well, this set is at least three box tops. Special effects by Billy. <laughs> These are not toys. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The Willowy Sub Commander. So, when does the Moomin Chance rehearsal start? Don't go up there, you'll become a toy. Yeah! Oh. Thank you, Eastman Widescreen. Why have you taken me to the Peterson's bathroom? Oh, this is so indulgent. Underalls for men. Ding, ding. Okay, so my death ray presentation wasn't that snappy. Ow. Danger, twist tie. And more butts. Oh, now he's showboating his butt. <laughs> Okay, we can dive. Billy's out of the tub, we can dive. Head towards the drain. Dust toy boat. Oh, did somebody tie on the helicopter? Oh, uh, well, this must be a massive organization to be able to throw away a $1.50 helicopter. A door. Better let the tub cool down before they use it now. You're here, but she's here with the traveler's checks. <laughs> ah, very nice. Vaguely European gigolo. Drink me in, folks. <laughs> okay, ready? Housekeeping. We got satellite dishes on their ears. <laughs> uh, 
Checkout's not till 10. Well, what a pleasant surprise. What the hell do you want? The boss would like to see you. You're joking. I only just completed a job. Haven't had any sleep for three nights. You know that. It's urgent, Mr. Fargo. Uh -huh. Very urgent. Oh. Jethro! <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get drunk. It's urgent. Well, I'm glad to say that our clients were very pleased. Yes, well done. You deserve a special prize for your work. He's won the Irving Thalberg Award. Another job, and one of international importance. The NATO authorities have enlisted the help of our organization in tracing a kidnapped research scientist. And Excuse me, Senor Raymond, but you oh, probably... Oh, we have to go through all that again. You'll get your usual pay and a bonus. So don't try to argue about it now. It won't do any good. You're worse than an Arab. Oh, come Always on. Always arguing over <laughs> how much you're going to collect on a job. If you hadn't such a good record, I would have got rid of you already. I'm sorry. This new case is a matter of life and death for the whole world. Senor Raymond, can't you use anyone else in this job? One of the interns? Just what do you mean? You say I'm on holiday. Don't you remember? <sighs> You promised me I could take two weeks vacation after I... Don't worry. Do this job well, and I'll give you a month's vacation. Ooh. There's all the information you may need in the dossier out there. My secretary will give it to you. Don't forget it's top secret. Read it, and then destroy it. Is that clear, Fargo? Yeah, everything's clear. It's clear. This is bogus, man. Meaning. One last thing. As usual, I expect reports all the time, Fargo. Use your microtransmitter on the 20-megacycle band. Yeah. And don't forget... Professor John Carmichael's disappearance multiplies the risk of a worldwide cataclysm. And that's why I've been hired to go and bring him here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, fine. I'll save the world when I'm ready. Mm. I'm going to finish his scotch. <clears throat> well, uh, that does it. Time for my obligatory flirting scene. I'm sorry, honey. Our trip to Mallorca is off. The boss was kind enough to give me a new assignment. Yes, so I heard, but I think you should have insisted a little more. You know you must take a vacation. Mm, I like it when you worry about me. Stress turns me on. Is this the dossier? Yes, that's the yes. dossier, top secret. I found it laying around. I have to go undercover as Tony Roberts? Oh, darling, take care of yourself. And no fighting this time, huh? <laughs> I don't want you yeah, to Yeah, a Ferengi <laughs> ear. Yeah, yeah, like guys usually need plastic surgery. Anyway, when I get back, we'll go to Mallorca for a month. His phone has lost weight. But don't leave till tomorrow. Spend the night with me. Senorita Roberta. Get back to your work. Don't. Must I remind you again? <laughs> not to distract our agents. And Fargo, you ought to leave at once. Do you hear that? At once. I'm trying to run an international organization and you guys are bugging me. And remember, Mallorca. Selling vinyl siding is full of intrigue. <laughs> 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 oh, it is a dangerous mission. It's U.S. Air. <laughs> I'm an English firm. And commercial relations between England and France aren't always easy. And you know why? Because the frogs because don't both listen. Because countries are trying to sell the same products to each other. Could you not and talk? To do that, Will. Are you feeling all right now, senora? I don't know. Monsieur, you were saying, continue your story. What? Oh, no, she's prettier than you. Oh, I've already bored you with it. Let's talk about you. What do you do? I'm beautiful. Oh, my work isn't particularly interesting. As a fashion editor, I'm just like you, continually traveling. But one soon gets used to it, <laughs> luckily. Danger, small talk. Where are you bound for this time? A short visit to the east. New Jersey? And you? To the west. What a pity. Oh. Uh -huh. That means we can't boink. Meanwhile, in coach... <laughs> Welcome to Structure. Here I am in the West. Oh, the West is nice. I didn't know my youth hostile locked the door at 10. Not without my daughter. Doug Fairbanks comes home late. Mm, I think he missed this day in secret agent training. I think he wore the wrong shoes. Ollie North arrives at campaign headquarters.
That was really him. Mm-hmm. You ought to clean the pool. It's <laughs> filthy. Augustus has fallen into the chocolate. Hey, uh, somebody tell the director we lost him. I think he's dead. Sure, we got a little water in the basement. What of it? Yeah. <coughs> Mommy, I swam all the way out to the raft. What the hell am I doing here? Will Marsha find love? Will Dr. Dressen find a cure for Danny? It's like when rats pop out of the toilets in St. Paul. Oh, how is it so embarrassing? Hmm? Hey, Mario, what took you Looks so like long? Looks like a tall elf. I just got a message from the boss. He said to expect a visitor. Someone's looking for the Spaniard. Where is Scarface? That's my affair. You just carry out orders. A Charlie Watts walk-on. You know, you leave yourself open to this kind of thing when you have a trap door. When stuntmen try to play cards, (laughs) six no hearts. Oh, I hate triple sec. Come on, fatso. (laughs) I just had a henna rinse. You're such a boner, man. This is the best fortune hunter yet. You're the one that knows everything. Who's God? Where's the man with the scar? You know who I mean? Better talk. Well, Well, where is he? I'm trying. Please. Sure, I'll talk. But don't let go of my larynx. Scarface isn't here in Rome. He he left two days ago. The boss ordered him to leave. He went through. Ah! <laughs> Did you ever have to make up your mind? We're gonna get down now, because there's a funky kind of intrigue going on. Okay. I just wanted to thank you. Thank you for killing that guy. Watermelon man. Hitman. These Sansa belts are made for action. I'll wait for you here for a little while. Counting on him being completely blind. Jack LaLanne is the fugitive. Watermelon Man. I refuse to look to the right. It would be caving in to look that way. I will not. Well, I tried my best. That's all they can ask. I am technically on vacation. Kind of a hastily assembled ruin. Oh, gross. He's wearing a sports bra. That was kind of a letdown. I was expecting a better chase. Now I've got the whole rest of the evening. Oh, why the hell did I go down there? What was I thinking of? Ooh, somebody's wet. <laughs> Watermelon man. Ah. Growing need for security men in Seattle area. Hmm. I was just reaching for my mint. Grow some hair. Sneak into my own apartment. That's Herbie Hancock, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're going to take a little break right now. Kind of hard for me to work without my music, but I'll try. Might as well take a couple of laps around the building. (laughs) Hello. 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 X3 calling. Are you receiving me? Answer. Receiving you loud and clear. Uh, Receiving you loud and clear. This apartment's renting. Attention. Oh, 
Michael Eisner and Jeffrey Katzenberg's last meeting. Stand by for an important message. Are you receiving us? Come in. Hey, you're comfortable. <laughs> yes, receiving you. Go ahead. Over. Okay, X3. I'll give you Frank. X3, how are you? We intend to land near Barcelona in a few hours. Ribbit. Rendezvous over. at the Club Morocco. <laughs> Repeat. Rendezvous at the Club Morocco. That's for Is that clear? Yes, message received. I don't have the right clothes for the Club Morocco. It's a Lady Wittenauer. Hello. Fargo here. Hello. How are things going? Fine, Senor Iman. Guess where I'm going tonight. I've just made some new friends. I'm sitting on one now. Barcelona, so take the usual steps. Right. Anything else? Yes, Senor Iman. Warm wishes to your secretary. I'm here. Be careful, Barton. Don't... Over and out. <laughs> Nobody doesn't like me. <laughs> Macintosh equipment. Macintosh, nice mm -hmm. tube amp. High quality. You might have... Oh, hey! Adorned. Just a few more hours on board, Professor Carmichael. And we'll be and married. You start recreating your death ray, not for NATO, but for private enterprise. You will never manage to make me work against my will. Oh, wait, you will. What am I saying? Danger, beer guts. X2 calling. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Proceed, X2, over. What's wrong? What's wrong, X2? I'm just kind of dying. Go ahead, we're waiting for your message. Ooh. Over. This movie's packed with hinders. X2, come in. Sunday morning at Skull and Bones. Come in, X2. Tonight, no. an American tried to find... X1, we did our best to, to prevent. Well, it wasn't good enough, was it? X2, reply immediately. Can't you hear X2? What's wrong? Judging from your face, I'm pretty certain that our conclusions are the same. You're a damn ugly. Half an hour ago, you gave away details of your rendezvous to a complete stranger. Keep quiet, you. Ooh. Go sit over there instead. That's your punishment. Sorry. Make contact with X3 again. Do, 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 Western mm -mm. Union. Mm -mm. Not going to do it. The coy captive. <laughs> that nose wheel feels bushy. <laughs> Woo, we're going to Iowa City to see the dead, man. Come on, Skeeter. Lincoln! Abe Lincoln is time cop. <laughs> hey. Yes. Everyone! Yay! Woo. Ah, exotic location. Off the south side of Chicago. Gary, Indiana. A little crappy part of town. <laughs> I wonder if the whole city can hear my theme song. Where Eagles Dare moves downtown. We're gonna slow it down now, because we like to do everything nice and easy. It's a poorly designed subway. I can't run without my theme. If the music speeds up a bit, I can catch her. Quick, I need to get on the tilted whirl. Wow, that's fun. I can't get enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, my eyes really rack focused there. Happy hour always wins out. Either he's nine feet tall or that's a tiny door. This man will compete for. I'm going to shun him. <laughs> The Morocco Club is really disappointing. In the old days, it wouldn't even let you in there. Geez, this is practically a karate school already. My falafel ready to go? Because <laughs> it's Moroccan. <laughs> if there were a lot of people here, wouldn't they all be phony? Hi. Are you hiring dancers? Nobody around here? Don't I count? What do you want, senor? A double Quantro. <laughs> Why not? Me too. 
First you pay what you owe, huh? Fourteen thousand dollars? Okay. This is such a fun place, they should make it into a chain. Mm. Well, I'm a secret agent, you know. Nice little place you have. It's one of the best in Barcelona. And the most expensive. You're drunk, senor. You ought to go home. Your job is to serve drinks. I have to agree. This man will compete for... Go, girl! Woo. I was led to believe this was an Applebee's. You explain to me why they're called buffalo wings. By the way, it's my birthday. Don't I get a little cupcake? It's Jerry Reed. Hit him! Yeah. This man could... Oh, I saw Ed Ames come in on Carson. Hey, John Ivan Palmer performed here. Something is not clicking with this business. Management problems or something. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Abe Lincoln's a bad cop on the loose. Ah, the annual running of the secret agents in Pamplona. <laughs> After him. Help me, Kirk. <laughs> no, you're a fool. Oh, wow. Follow the American. Don't let him get away. I want Jefferson Davis dead. I want his children dead. Sorry, Barcelona's closed. That's why it's called Barcelona. <laughs> Rip. Oh, Too bad they can't just shoot through the bars. <laughs> Hey, they just waxed that road. Be careful. This action sequence brought to you by the Stan Kenton Band. I'm on ghoul now. Wow. You're not renting. Be barefoot in the park caper. Poor little guy. Secret agents can climb really good, but they have a hard time coming back down. Senator Mike Mansfield in hot pursuit. It's kind of Escher-esque, isn't it? Hmm? I had no patience with the elevator, but I'm regretting it now. What is this Madame Suzatska's apartment building? Oh, Mike. Sweet, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Jeez, can't he ever well, use the door? Don't tell me you've never been in an artist's studio. Uh, not this way. <laughs> uh, are you looking for someone? Oh, no, I just like running around the roofs. It kind of relaxes me. <laughs> do you mind if I drop in? Please do. I was hoping you wouldn't use that joke, by the way. Oh, my ankle. Thank you. What do you think of it? Well, I'd like to sleep with that painting. What do I say? Whoever's knocking at your door is someone who wants to speak to me. But I don't want to see him. Is there any place I can hide? In your cleavage, perhaps. Open up! Hmm? Open up! Let us in! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. What in heaven's name's going on? Hmm? Hey, she paints as good as Linda McCartney. Well, why are you standing out there? Boing. Come on in. You see, we're here on a breast inspection. Yes, yes. Uh, we're looking for a man. Are you him? My word, so am I. Oh. Let me know if you find an extra one. I think you know what I meant. Be sure and shut the door. There's a draft. Yeah, all right. Because I'm nude, you know. <laughs> you know, I'd drop into an, an apartment and it would be Bella Abzug. Oh. <laughs> you can come out now. He's gone. How clever to think of hiding in the well, closet. How about that, hmm? We're wonderful. I tried on your blue outfit. What I need now. Yeah? Is a king-size cigarette. Sure, why not? Wow. Hmm. I don't know who you are, honey, but Bart Fargo owes you a favor. <laughs> oh, in that case, take me out to dinner. I haven't had a square meal in days. What's 
the matter? No money? Mm. No, I just forget all about meals when I'm painting. Oh, that nauseating, huh? Let's go to my hotel. What? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't. I have a very jealous boyfriend, Bart. What's the name? Mark Anthony. <laughs> no, I meant your name. Brutus. Ah, Lucille. Lucille! <gasps> well, Lucille, Mark Anthony's a very lucky fellow. It's been a pleasure. I sure hate having to send you away, but I've got to finish the picture. Mm. Thanks again, Lucille. Hey, what's with a secret agent who keeps striking out? <laughs> They're just waiting outside the door. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. Well, time to talk. Come in. Let's go to my hotel. <laughs> Your breakfast, senor. Put it on the table. Then put you on the me. <laughs> oh, we ordered one of those crappy European breakfasts. Mm, freshly baked. <laughs> hmm? Senor, we have cleaned and pressed your gum. We're gonna put an end to this towel stealing once and for all. David Cassidy is Abe Lincoln behind Confederate lines. <laughs> This happened when I was Mannix's bellboy, too. Oh. Lincoln actually fought Golden Gloves. Oh, oh I've got a rail-splitting headache. You're no Raymond Massey to us, mister. No, it's real. Oh, it's safe. Huh? You know, Scarface, that was a very silly get-up that didn't suit you. And your imitation of a waiter was very funny. Your breakfast, senor. <laughs> you should have changed your voice, too. Uh. Ole! <laughs> and the way you dove out the window was just terrible. Ooh, sorry, ma'am. That's too bad. Oh, come on. What about he really fell for me? His yeah. hopes are crushed. <laughs> Barcelona wants me. <laughs> See, I can't go back there. Hey, you must have just had eye drops. He's wearing those Italian womany glasses. Who's that behind those Amy Grants? <laughs> They're cool. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, long line to the barber shop. Yeah, we'll come back for the rest later. Could I have part of that skull? Yeah, what are you going to do with the extra pieces? There's some brain over here. You want this brain? Let's go to the villa. Sure, I'd love to go to the villa with you. I'm too shy. I should just introduce myself. <laughs> oh, I see he drives one of them little foreign jobs. Right into my circuit mini car. <laughs> but she's wearing an armoire on her finger. Danger, birth control pills. <laughs> X9 calling. Listen, Frank. Listen? I just saw the man we're after get into a red sport car. He's following you. You know what to do. Yeah, we know what to do. <laughs> what do we do? God, you're ugly. Oh, we can't shake him. He's too good. Uh, I could use a touch more headroom. I think they lost him. <gasps> Damn, he's good! Wow. Spy movie historical marker, two miles. <laughs> Go speed racer. Go speed racer. <laughs> it's a high-performance Dodge Dart. Well, you know, just because you're having a high-speed chase doesn't mean you can't have an adequate space cushion. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, there's a nipple on your face. Ooh. This highway adopted by the Barcelona JCs. The Rockford Files European Vacation. 
Well, this is the big chase scene, folks, so you might want to take this time to go make yourself a sandwich or take a shower or... He emptied the urinal. Hot Wheels. Some little boy is going to be very upset. Aha! I think we just foiled someone, but because of the editing, I'm not really sure. They tampered in God's domain. Let's get moving. Oh, what kind of a lame quip is that? What about, he's all wet? Or he took a dip. Yeah, or he made quite a splash. Whoa, portrait of the artist as a young vavoom. The door's unlocked. And so am I. Just push. <coughs> Hello, Seal. Why, what happened to you? I went for a swim. Oh, see, at least he tried to <laughs> You quit. must be crazy. Maybe you're right. I can tell you right now, I'm not very good at pressing trousers, but I'll do my best. Mm. Take everything off. <gasps> you're not shy, are you? Not really, but do you have something a little bit drier I can slip into? <laughs> In case you didn't know, this is the light-hearted portion of our movie. <laughs> you men are full of the strangest complexes. Hmm? To tell you the truth, right now I'd rather be full of scotch. There's some cooking brandy in the kitchen. Do you have Holland House? You know, I still think my idea is best. That I wear your dress. As soon as you've finished, we'll go out and have a drink. Ah, first you want to get me high, and then you'll take advantage. Bingo! Two sips, Barton. I'm just lost. Oh, come on. You wouldn't refuse a man who's about to die of pneumonia, would you? I don't mm -hmm. date Kendall. Huh? Oh, now it's another oh. bomb bag column. It's <laughs> a toilet paper cozy. And a salute to Nair. Here we go. We'll put you in the back because of your outfit and all this. I thought this would be a good place to just talk, to get to know each other. Two whiskeys on the rocks. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't be stingy, baby. This makes the chase scene look absolutely exhilarating. Miss Iceberg Lettuce. That's Victor Victoria. Next up, Sandler and Young. I can't believe she's doing my bit. Al. Al. Hmm? What is it? He's out there, the American. You better hurry, warn the boss. Got to get out of this movie. You now, see, you should never wear white pants on a cape. I don't know why. Jeez, I wish they'd invent elevators. Vicky's a clandestine window washer. like walking except different it's late we'd better go uh, do you mind if i drive this time Aww. is this the national twister monument <laughs> whoa a jumpsuitless back are you a daring young man in a jaunty jalopy Go forward. <laughs> well, finally got rid of her. All secret agents are guests of the luxurious Motel 6. <laughs> Lucky guess, I gotta admit. <laughs> I'll get it. Wow, swinging bachelor pad. Cool. Hello? Yeah, I just got in. Yeah, the guy with the knife is still I here. No jumping on the bed. Oh. Hey, no, don't. Stop it. Oh. Hold on a minute. Bart, Bart. What's going on, darling? Daddy is on the phone. <laughs> my mother, my sister, my sister, my mother. His name is Luca. I'm 
I'm sending you to bed without room service. Well, I'm gonna order. You want anything? Sorry for that, darling. It was room service. I'm kidding. What did you want to tell me? That I'm mad about you. Ooh. You say it like you mean it. Of course I do, Bart. I'll see you later. Mm. Sure. Bye. Mm. Gun placed by the Gideons. <laughs> you and I have some issues, mister. All right, talk. Where's Professor Carmichael? Could you slap me again? If I tell you, the boss will have me killed. Springsteen? Why? Please try to understand. I'm Gary Crosby. Listen, you tell me or you're going to be in real trouble. I'll spank you, I will. You just wait till your father gets home. Uh, how keep he? How? I don't need any more toilet paper. Oh, pardon. I thought it was my room. Why, it's you. What a coincidence. I just love the view from this room. <laughs> Come back here. You have both room keys. Hey. You owe me for part of the bill. He's got such a soft spot for people who try to kill him. See, a long time ago, I lost a ball up here. Oh, there it is. Well, that moment went nowhere. I'm going to go back in. I'm here to register voters. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Anything wrong? I'm just a burglar. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. You see, my room's next door. The hall's so badly lit, I couldn't read the number. I really am sorry. It was so silly. Don't worry. Why don't you come in for a minute? Well, now that fate's brought us together again, we can get to know each other better. I like Bobby Vinton. Whoa! Bart, <laughs> let's go for a ride in a motorboat. It's wonderful in the first light. Well, what do you say? Okay, yeah. vroom, vroom. <laughs> I feel like kissing his shoulder. Is that weird? Mm -hmm. um, oh. I'll need my purse for the shower. <laughs> you haven't said anything about your work. I should think that Barcelona is a good center for your line of business. Oh, uh, don't look on the top shelf in there, because my guy who lived here Not before bad. had a lot of porno magazines. There's quite a demand for our products in Spain. Well, hello. This is for the ladies, but I like it too. If you want to go to the police about that burglar, I can take you there after our trip in the motorboat. You see, the chief of police, he's an old friend of mine. It always helps to know someone. Thanks, sir. I may as well, but I don't think it will be easy to catch him. I really enjoy our mundane conversation. The Boatniks, undercover. It's way too fast to troll. I am determined to get a muskie this year. It was an interesting choice not to have any suspense in this movie. <laughs> this is the low-budget remake of A Night to Remember. Why don't we do a bit of sunbathing? Sure. Teach me. Would you like a cigarette? Please. They're done already? Wow. He's not a talent. Um, there's a little bomb in it, so don't be alarmed when it goes off. This guy has premature foreplay. Darling Capizios. Mm -hmm. They're having some Montclair moments. What a melon man. God, I was great. <sighs> She's checking the sun's makeup. Obey. Whoa. Oh. oh, he's wearing pull-ups. Let's go. Put it down, put it down. Where's Lieutenant Stephanie Holden when you need her? Whoa, they must have hit an eel pout. Really go up. 
He really needs a terry top to go with those swim trunks. Smiley, I've seen the other two never been wow. Devil is that swingle singer music coming from? Give me some pants! Ms. Reno. <laughs> ah, she's not young and beautiful, you see. <laughs> Wardrobe, more pants, please. No. Oh. Oh, well, it's 10 a.m. somewhere in the world. Oh, no, <laughs> I'll never love again. Jerry Reed is Polonius. <laughs> oh. Oh, moist. That robe has Father's Day gift written all over it. It's a Band-Aid. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Jerry Reed in Whose Life Is It Anyway? <laughs> Murphy's oil soap. Whoa. Have a swallow. Here. It's two for one. <laughs> Thanks. Well, then, do you want to talk about it? How did it happen? <laughs> they wanted to get rid of me because... I'm Jerry Reed. I'm no use to them anymore. <laughs> and so you managed to get away another time. I get you to thank. Last night out there, you had a perfect chance to kill me. But luckily for me, you didn't. You want to have coffee sometime? You saved me. Sure is a big debt to repay. Mm. Uh, forget it. Our hair is our special bond. How about answering that question? Yes, I will be Mrs. Bart Fargo. What is that sound? Your official UCLA Bruins robe. Hello? I was waiting for you, Bart. Hey, Hello? listen. About 13 miles away on the north road out of town, there's a villa. Go there tonight. You better be careful. Hey, wait. She's painted for a laugh-in sketch. what's going on? How would I know? What am I, spy or something? Sorry, Lucille. <laughs> it was the porter. He was bringing my laundry. Uh, the laundry. There's always someone there when I call. Listen, how about coming over here? We can have a quiet little talk. But you're a girl. Sorry, I'm very busy today. You're not giving me the brush off, are you? Certainly not, and you shouldn't know it. In that case, what are you waiting for? Oh, Bart, I didn't sleep all night. Well, then she should just get some sleep. Uh, Neither did I. I really think I'm in love with you, Bart. <coughs> with Mark Anthony, it was a different thing altogether. You know, an infatuation. With you, it's an obsession. I tell you what. I'll pick you up tomorrow afternoon, and we'll go out in the boat, okay? Yes, darling, but come as soon as you can. Sure. That's what I usually do. You idiot. I told you to get rid of Al. But at least I wounded him. He couldn't be very far. And if he's got away? It's a liquor showroom. Don't worry, Senor Frank. It's all right. I'll take care of him. If that American agent gets a hold of him, you'll find out where the fella is. Ooh. I'll find out, Senor Frank. I'll kill him with my own hand. Hey, <laughs> leave Mr. French alone. Jeez, Coppola's little. Si, Senor. At once. Taco. Parting on the rest. Oh. I'm a little late. But, Senor. That's all I can think to say. I just had his suit polished. Okay, hi everybody. I'm here, the party can start. Hello. <laughs> oh, have you heard about the guy who's late? There's a late guy here. It's him over there. I hear he's late. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the pizza rolls will be ready at any moment. The Viper Room's kind of a letdown. Apparently, shiny suits haven't caught on over here. He adjusted his head. Paging Mr. Fart Bar Bart Fargo. Bart Fargo. 
B49. B49. Why'd they seat him at the pool table? Mesdames et messieurs, a bonk of $10,000. Better be a damn good bonk. <laughs> God, he's beautiful. He didn't show a card or anything. There, the man with his back turned. All right, I'll Prince speak Sammy to Khan. Who are you, please? If it's any business of yours, my good man, I'm a guest. That's not writing, that's typing. <laughs> Seven for Monsieur de Laroche. Call them olive hands. Mm. And eight for Monsieur Charlton. Mr. Charlton, it's amazing that you have such a beautiful wife, and yet you still manage to win at cards. I like disproving old-fashioned sayings. Mm? That one especially. Mm. Hold this, thank you. Please tell him, Mr. Carver, that I'm here as an honored guest. Fine, you don't have to chip in on the pizza. I don't quite understand. By the way, I heard the croupier call you Charlton. Have you changed your name? No, there's some mistake, I'm afraid. I'm Charlton Chu. <laughs> My apologies, signore. Mm -hmm. I'll just take care of this, and uh, then I'll return. Sorry, darling. Sure, that's OK, fine. Come with me, then. I'll fix you a nice black cow. Let's go to the furniture showroom. <laughs> we'll go to the billiard room. Well, you're all going to be Bart Fargo-less for a while. <laughs> I better have another screwdriver. Hi, I'm here for the Wiglet Society meeting. <laughs> no? That feels nice, yeah. You think you know a great many things, don't you, Fargo? I've brought you to my parents' rumpus room for a reason. But knowledge can be extremely dangerous. I know that, duh. Your good fortune may turn. Why don't you put your cards on the table? But you're playing pool. This time you might lose. I'm sorry to have to disappoint you. But I'm Eileen Eckert. But I'm not in the habit of losing. You want to get a picture there? Okay, here we go. And up. Oh, ooh. Hey, are we playing call? I think this game's lasted too long. Hmm? Don't you, Carver? 20 seconds? That's what I was thinking. Uh, I think. Hey, we had our quarters on the table. <laughs> go steal the chalk. It's a rolling gift. Hmm. Hi. Is that really Shantung? Nice. <laughs> the ever debonair Bart Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, now it smells weird. Hello, darling. Well, well. Old friends meet again. Bart! Bart? Bart! Bart! I, I think I'm a hostage. <laughs> How did you find out I was coming here? I heard it on the telephone. The porter gave you this address. What porter? That's not important now. Hmm? <laughs> you were very clever, Carver. Yes. Kidnapping the professor was a brilliant piece of work. My congratulations. Look, let's put our balls on the table, shall we? Thank you, Fargo for being a major agricultural center in the upper Midwest. Take them both to the villa. <laughs> oh, and get the professor ready. And Gilligan and Marianne. Oh, no, I was hoping you wouldn't Sorry. say that. Sorry. Get in. And don't sit on my comic books. Oh, no, poison <laughs> pens. <laughs> Herbie, the misfit elf. Oh. oh, no, one of the three tenors is down. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's fun. Thanks for repaying that debt. Carver mentioned another villa. Do you know where it is? But I can't go there. I'd be killed. I'm delicate. No, please don't ask me to do that. Surely I've done enough, haven't I? Here's 3,000 bucks. 
Stock the villa with groceries. When we get to the villa, I'll give you another 3,000. And then I promise to help you start a new life when all this is finished. Come on, we better hide these corpses. You'd think a decent hotel would take care of that. Here we go. Dragging the bodies, yeah. Hiding the evidence. Hey, we're getting funky now. Yeah. Maybe the guards at the villa know you left the gang. No, I doubt it. Maybe we're dwarves. I'm not important enough. No one would think of telling them. Watermelon Man. This villa will compete. Can you check this? I think I'm done. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we've got to get some use out of this death ray. I've got an impish idea. <laughs> I am still in the movie. This drug will completely destroy your willpower, Professor. By the time Herr Carver returns, you'll no longer be able to think or act independently. You'll become Michael Huffington. <laughs> oh, suddenly they're in Lake Elmo. Watch out for this rock. <laughs> I ought to hit you. <laughs> you are going to military school, whether you like it or not. Could you turn the radio down? I'm really sick of this song. Oh, the beautiful people live here. Come on. Hi. Welcome to Jack Ruby Fantasy Camp. Don't worry, Bart. The nurses will be very nice to you here. Whoa, partner, you just missed the Pinecrest Resort. <laughs> well, who's for badminton? He's strumming his machine gun. Ha! <laughs> ha! The whole driving by thing went off exactly as planned. <laughs> Would you moon him? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened, but I'm delighted. Driving Miss Fargo. Bart? Okay, remember, we're just looking. We're just looking at the model we're not going to buy. Good way to sneak up. Slam the doors. What are you looking for? I thought you knew. You I don't know. I wait. Okay. Now remember, these people are very uptight, so don't do none of your Jew jokes. Is that the entrance? Yeah, but don't forget what I told you, huh? That you're a tiger in the sack? I sure won't. Don't you worry. Uh, you, you might want to notch down the music while I'm trying to sneak in. Come on, pretty boy. Watch Bart Fargo rock. He hit Benny Hill. <laughs> Good. Hey, it's the kids in the hall. He was no lady. He was my wife. <clears throat> um, do we have a plan? It's Tony Curtis. <laughs> the ladies are putty in his hands. Let's see. Do you look good next to the plant or you know, in here? In there. Now I'm going to get medieval on your ass. You're in bed for good, young man. No getting up for a glass of water. Oh, another great hiding place. <laughs> Suddenly you're on the set of the Cheyenne Social Club. day they killed Chad and Jeremy. I gotta get a bigger body closet. Now no talking or giggling or I'll separate you three. Okay, I gotta figure something out here. I'm conking a lot of people, but I'm not making any headway. Oh, no, Joey Bishop is down. Four people down and not a single quip. 
going to bump into Miss Kitty. Mm, I hope they have a body closet on the second floor. <laughs> Quit following me. Get ready. Carver will be here soon. All right. One, two, skip to my loo. Three, four. Oh, uh -huh. there they go. <laughs> Five, six. Da -da 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 oh, you're here. Whoa! <laughs> Keep it down out here or I will tell the RA. Oh, time to shave my brow. Carl. Carl, do we have a casserole dish? Carl, where are the croutons? Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone 57. Well, time to run into a trap. <coughs> Have you seen Carl? <coughs> oh, please, I'm not ready for this. I like him just as a thug. <coughs> You're not Carl. Carl doesn't hit me. And he picks up a spare. <laughs> Secret agent specializes in rough housing. <laughs> you can tell their mom's gone. You must be Carl. Yeah, that's it. Hit him with pickwick papers. Thanks. Now I'll have to wear a turtleneck to school. <laughs> How about a hand of poker? <laughs> oh, no. That antique breakaway chair's been in the family for years. You know, neither one of us is very good at this. Mm. Are we? Are we? This woman! No. He died as he lived, not really having anything to do with this film. Hmm. Al! Hey, look out! Don't pay. You shot the gardener and the pool guy and the chemlon guy. <laughs> Bart, those were our people. I want you to know how much your four lines of dialogue meant to me. This has the tone of an Incredible Hulk episode. This isn't appropriate right now. His friend is dying over there. It's nice. It's nice, though, yeah. <laughs> Bart Fargo is hard to watch. <laughs> hey, we're just playing croquet. If he harms one hair on my earrings... Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> Thank God this is bulletproof ermine. Hi, you dead yet? Al, how do you feel? Are you Irpy? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bart. I thought, I thought I could do it. What? Oh, right. You'll be all right. We'll just get that Halloween scar all cleaned up. I'm running out on you. You'll, you'll have to finish it on your own. Uh, now you're just milking it. Take it easy. I'm dying in a rush. Uh. Maybe lost a Titleist. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. oh, I guess this thing was pulling left. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's so comforting. Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo. I just like doing it. <laughs> his relationship sour, he really lashes out. Go on without me. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> dum, 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 By the way, it's over between us. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, it's open. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Stephen Hawkins could have broken those doors. <laughs> uh, even though I'm watching him right now, I don't remember him. Broke into West Montgomery's house. Oh, Oscar Peterson's house. 
By now, the death ray is completely forgotten. Am I in the Hamptons house? I have no idea what I'm doing, but I've seen this all in the James Bond movies, so... Whoops! <laughs> Wrong floor! <laughs> I think you know who just did that, don't you? <laughs> Have you and the death ray gotten to know each other? Just wanted to finish my video game before I killed you. <laughs> uh, can I have the last blintz? Let's see, you are here. Where's Bloomingdale's? Yeah. I do enjoy this. It's a simple pleasure. Watching the All Chair Channel. Oh crap! It's Danger Death Ray. I hate this movie. Cool, huh, folks? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Middle of this here. Yes, yes. There. I got into the cooking sherry. <laughs> Oh, this is really interactive TV. Uh, I don't use that very much, but it's worth the money. Cool. Poopy. Is this what they mean by the dressing rooms may be under surveillance? <laughs> <laughs> the dow 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 attachment. Mm -hmm. So there's where they put the ceiling, the clever bastards. Hmm? 57 channels and nothing's alive. <laughs> hmm? The death ray looks mutely on. He's so dreamy when he shoots. You gotta love me, don't you, huh? Maybe I should have thought of this earlier. Man, I'm really tearing through the cameras. <laughs> Do I have a big nose, you think? Oh, I'm nervous now. Oh. Don't move or the curtain gets it. Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo. <laughs> 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 I can't watch another episode of Sequest. I must do something. I can see why men like women. Me too. Tell Lobby where the gin is. <laughs> Dance with me. <gasps> okay, I'll sleep here. See what you made me do. This movie could have been very successful, but then talkies came. Yeah. You know, they were going to call this Danger Wall-Mounted Guns, but it wasn't a very good title. I think having a house with wall-mounted guns shows a fear of intimacy. This house has the guns, but no central air, so beware. Hey, nice grand finale there. The fireworks and all? Uh, right now, I bet that guy's getting on the phone with his wall-gun representative. Yeah, you gotta slap it in like that or it doesn't work. Yep, pretty much. Whatever 17th century baron built this place, he had surprising technology. He was Jefferson. Ah, now he's an art critic. I wonder if I took a leak right now, if I'd break my momentum. Probably. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't get his damage deposit back. <laughs> What's this? What's all the arpeggioing about? Ah, uh, hey! Uh, uh, uh oh, oh. Hey, I've seen you on TV! Garner Ted Armstrong kicks some ass! 
Okay, okay stay there. The death ray works, but the victim really has to cooperate. I think he's under applying the death ray. You're making a mockery of my death ray. Now, I'm going to give you laser eye surgery. Hello. I have a death ray. Oh, guess I should have seen that coming. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, glad I don't live in the upstairs apartment. You know, actually, the death ray would be good for Hollywood premiere. <laughs> Danger drywall. Lucille. Did you check me out in the monitors? How was I? How did I look? Are you all right, darling? Professor, I'm a friend. Now, don't worry. I hope my death ray has not been the cause of all of this. <laughs> hey. Put out a pantsuit. Put out a pantsuit. bra. Put out a panties. Ba da da ba 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 girls. Oh. It says ba da ba da ba da da. On a new job already? I don't know. I don't read Italian. <laughs> yeah, I'm smooth. I'm awful smooth. <laughs> now I've got my affordable townhome all to myself. Well, now to sit in my underwear and watch silk stockings. This is where your widescreen format really comes in great. Great, she's got a matron at a mental hospital dress on. It's bubble up. I got it out of the machine. It's right down the hall. <laughs> Doc. Doc. Huh? The place for Mallorca leaves in an hour. I'm all packed. SCTV Doc. is on the Where's air! The Ah. Cameron Swayze intercepted it. <laughs> oh, come on. What the heck? What was that? <laughs> <laughs>